Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatchesnet here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United Cyberverse Universe Slipstream. And man, Slipstream looks really off. Like maybe the color is wrong or something. Let me adjust that and and uh, let's see if that fixes anything. Oh, much better. I don't know. It was just too much red, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's Slipstream. Before we take a look at her, though, let's uh. Take a look at her box and um, typical Legacy United box. Nothing too fancy going on there. There's her in her vehicle. Here's her in her bot mode. Here is the conversion. And of course, the typical Legacy United side. Nothing else going on. She did come with instructions and don't hurt yourself paper. So remember, don't hurt yourself. And of course, we have the figure. So before we get too far, let's take a closer look at her. And uh, she got like the seeker head, which is decent enough. Um, I'm not quite sure what the gem there is supposed to be. I'm trying to remember, like, this is supposed to be Cyberverse, and my brain is like, well, don't you remember an animated, uh, you know, she's a clone of Starkin with a little bit of a, a spark crystal in his in, in her head, whatever. Anyway, uh, just a lot of cyan gray, purple, like a, a mauve, mauve, is that a color? Violet, maybe? Just uh, about four colors, and then of course the weapons are in black, so she's pretty decent looking. Uh, and of course she is a repaint of this uh, lady here. This is of course uh, Windblade, and Windblade, if we can get her to stand up, uh, you can see the similarity. Wow, really? I guess everybody gets a turn. Uh, you can see the similarities here, and um, it's basically the the body. I mean, real changes here would probably be. Uh, no, the chest is the same. Legs are pretty much the same, other than coloring, obviously. Uh, the head looks like the really only different part. And Windblade got um, a sword, which I don't have with me right here. Uh, but uh, Slipstream came with two null rays, which uh, are packaged behind the cardboard. And uh, be careful not to accidentally throw them out. So let's take a look at the back. And uh, here's what the back looks like. Everything's exactly the same. How you position the wings is up to you. The turbines do move, so you can flip them back and forth if you want. So, yeah, no real differences. Otherwise, it looks like the back looks exactly the same, too. So let's get rid of Windblade here. And um, so Slipstream, as I had mentioned, has two null rays. They are exactly the same. They are, for whatever reason, um, a clear bluish color. I don't know how well you can see that, but at least there's like blast effect uh, DAP compatible at the end. But they are super shallow looking. Uh, they do plug in. You can plug them in on the wing. And uh, she could, of course, wield them. Like, why would you want to? Though? That's not really what Seekers do, but uh, you, you can. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to stick them on the wing. You can stick them on both one of the other ports here. I'm going to stick them on the outer port. It uh, probably looks cooler on the inner port. You know, uh, but uh, for my sanity right now, although it does block the turbine. No, it doesn't. No, oh, I thought it would block the turbines. Okay. So the conversion is the same as Windblade, except you don't have the sword to put in between your legs. So even though that is not a thing, it's still, um, you know, the tabs are still there for that. But uh, the thing I forgot last time when I was converting uh, Windblade was put out these wings. And I, I, I noticed other people reviewing them forgot the same thing. <laughs> I forgot to prep those wings. Um, so these pieces right here, um, you got to move them to be the stabilizer. Um, and they, they do move with the foot, but you need them to move independently. And But you close them to uh, basically complete the back end. And then, of course, pull up the stabilizers. They, they have like a, a general ratchet in there to make sure that you do that. Um, so... I feel like I do this first so I don't forget these parts because this is easy to forget. So what we got going on here is the back end here, which has the uh, the nose assembly. Here we go. And uh, the goal is to cover up her head. Let's see if I can do this without. So you got a there's a double. There we go. A double. Uh, there we go. Uh, my brain is like, oh, I wonder what's the color. It's a double thing. <laughs> it's a <laughs> double. Oh, 
there you go. There you go. Okay, so we got this done. You see this? Snap it together. And oh, look at the cockpit. That's uh, nifty. Does it open? I don't know. Well, maybe it doesn't. I'm just. Ouch. I'm not going to force it. But uh, yeah, that, that, I kind of like that color on it. It's uh, actually really nice. Uh, double jointed is the word I was looking for, by the way. Uh, anyway, uh, pull up these. And then you have to shimmy the legs in. Um, we're going to rotate the waist, I, th I believe. Do, do we rotate the waist? I think we rotate the waist. Uh, it's been a while since I converted slipstream. But uh, pull the legs back. And uh, they will nestle in. Let's see if I can get the here. Move these out of the way. Uh, they will nestle in down here as soon as I get everything lined up. Let's clip these together. It might make my life a little bit easier. Um, yeah, because these end up being like landing struts. And uh, there we go. And then okay, so there is a tab here. It goes into a slot. And. Uh, there you go. See? Nicely done. Our hands are... You know, this is the fun thing. It reminds me of the Thrilling 30s um, uh, slipstream where you basically just put the hand into the peg here and it holds the front and back end together. And it's a really tight grab, but it, it works. And then, of course, you can adjust the wings. And um, if everything is in the right place... There should be, oh, you know I'm going to unclip this. So there's these clips down here. So I might be slightly off. And uh, I don't know where because everything else seems to be in place. Let's see. Uh, is this slightly off somewhere? And they clipped in. They look like where they're supposed to be. Oh, looks like this leg went out of place a little bit. We just slap it in. Oh yeah, this uh, this piece isn't exactly where it needs to be. There we go. What about this one? It's like, am I stretching it too far? I mean, luckily you can just stick them back in place. I didn't have this problem with slipstream, but uh, here we go. Here we go. It looks a little bit better. Now, did it fix this down here? Yep, yeah, it did. Okay, so now these pieces can lock into here, and then again, put the hands in place very nice straighten these out and we get this i believe there is landing gear Let's see if i can get it there we go so there's some landing gear so that's what she looks like i think it's a decent just really decent look again really love the the coloring in the cockpit uh, a light, a lot of nice bright colors. So real quickly, uh, we'll compare her to Windblade. Oh, let um, see if I can get these to. There we go. In front end, we can change these around. So yeah, let's just grab Windblade and compare. So here is Slipstream and Windblade together, and as a just like with the robot form, uh, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, except, you know, no rays in this one, and Slipstream is supposed to have a sword, uh, but uh, I don't have it with me right now, so you can just basically take my word for it. They are pretty much the same. I mean, even in this form, um, basically, you can't, you couldn't tell they were different because the faces are missing, other than the paint scheme. So, I, I mean, I'm looking at this and thinking to myself, I think... One was obvious for this mold, and the other one was like, okay, well, let's do some things to work for this mold. And I think that's where we are. So, I mean, really pretty much the same. I'm like looking at these shoulders here, but yeah, that's, that's like, let me, hold on. Let's pull these out. And her shoulders, huh. I don't know if that's uh, just my copy or what. Because you notice the shoulders are a different angle in Windblade. But, uh, Otherwise, yeah, just pretty much, pretty much the same. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the look we're going to take over here with uh, Slipstream. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? 
Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.